Steve Accordia. Hello, my friends, and you're very welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. Here we are on episode 17. So last time we got a Scyther, we've added Scyther to our team, which is very exciting, and we defeated all of the gym trainers in the Ecrotique City gym. So what we're going to do now is we are just going to go straight into it and defeat, well, hopefully defeat, hopefully I'm not being too optimistic, um, the gym trainer Morty. Um, I just want to go to the Mart really quick and stock up, but we are all healed and ready to go otherwise. All right, let's get some, I mean, we won't need great balls right now, but let's get some great balls. Most important things are super potions. Yeah, we can... Let's get like eight of those. And let's also get some revives too. We have two. Maybe we'll get another three. I don't think we'll need them, but... Uh, well, hopefully not. <laughs> um, that's probably good for right now. I'm trying to think maybe some... Maybe a couple of awakenings. Or do we have full heals yet? No, not yet. Yeah, because I know the... His ghost Pokemon can put us to sleep, so maybe it might be helpful to have a couple of awakenings, just in case. And while we're here, why don't we just get some Pokeballs, you know? Because we have run out, so... Always handy to have, anyway. Okay, so here we are at the Ecrotique Gym. Uh, Morty has four Pokemon. He has a Ghastly, two Haunters, and a Gengar, and I believe they're at level 21, 23, and 25. So if we have a look at our team, our Quilav is at level 25. We have Flaffy and Golbat at level 23. Scyther, I did not do any level grinding in between the two episodes, or should I say in between the previous episode, um, but Scyther's gonna get a whole bunch of experience in this gym, so I've decided to just leave it as it is. Well, hopefully he will, you know. I, I may or may not send him out. Also, may maybe for the Ghastly, at least. Um, but I think we'll be okay with the others. We've got, you know, Confuse, we've got Paralysis, and we've got Flame Wheel. So that's kind of my strategy. I'm not too worried about Morty. I think, I think we can do this. Um, I've been, like, very overly anticipating previous gym battles. So I'm going to try and take a calmer approach. Not worry about it. Let's just go for it. We are quite level matched, other than Scyther. So um, I'm going to save it here really quick just in case i don't know why it's not like i'm going to restart the game if we lose but i just like the idea of saving it right here so okay so the game is saved here we are there's morty so let's go get our fourth gym badge it's good of you to have come here in ecrotique pokemon have long been re revered it is said that a rainbow rainbow who rainbow hued I can't read today. Pokemon will come down to appear before a truly powerful trainer. I believed that tale, so I have secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. I see a shadow of the person who will make the Pokemon appear. I believe that person is me. You're going to help me reach that level. Okay. Here we go, guys. Versus Morty. I'm assuming he's going to start with his Ghastly, but we shall see. Yep. Ghastly at level 21. All right, we're just gonna go in with the pursuit. Scyther is faster, so that is great. I want Scyther to gain as much experience as possible. Ooh, that might not be good. <laughs> but it's okay, look, if Scyther faints, it's okay. It's okay. Oh my gosh, he used a Hyper Potion. I kind of figured. Um, also, our normal type attacks will not work, so we're kind of stuck with pursuit and agility. Let's go in for the pursuit again. So that's ghastly done. Almost at level 18. Oh my god, he's immediately switching to the Gengar. Oh wow, okay. Um, hmm. Okay, I think... I think I want to paralyze him because that will slow him down and hopefully get some thunder shocks too, get some damage because I think he is a berry and I'm assuming he's going to use some type of a potion at some point but I'm shocked that he's going with his Gengar next. Uh, let's thunder wave. 
Oh, he's he's faster. Let's see what this does. <gasps> oh, that's a lot. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Well, he's paralyzed. Is he... No, it's the Lumberry, isn't it? I don't think he has a Lumberry. I think we're probably safe to switch. I just don't want him to, like, heal the status so that we'd have to do it a second time, but I don't think that's what he has. So I'm gonna switch to Quilava and try and throw in some Flame Wheels. See what damage they do. Oh gosh, how much damage is this gonna- this Shadow Ball gonna do? <gasps> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I was a little too cocky. Um, I'm gonna use a potion. That is a bit scary. Okay, good. Paralyzed. All right, let's uh, let's go for the flame wheel. Yes. Oh, it doesn't. It really doesn't do much, does it? Oh, this will be tricky. Oh my god! No, Quilava! Oh my god! I'm so happy we're not doing a Nuzlocke right now because we would have just lost our starter. All right, I'm gonna go in with the confusion. Let's get him. Let's confuse him. And also, oh, of course he has bite. Oh my gosh! I feel like I haven't used Golbat in forever. I actually forgot that he has bite, so that is super effective. That may have just saved us. <laughs> I completely forgot that we had bite. Restored. Okay, it's restored health. I knew he had a berry. And he's paralyzed. Okay, I'm gonna go in with another bite. Oh, yes. 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 Beautifully done, Golbat. That completely went out of my head. I, in my mind, I was like, no, Scyther's the only Pokemon we have now with a, a, a dark move. Okay. Um, let's keep, let's keep uh, Golbat in. Only level 21. Okay, this should be, this should be okay. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? I am half tempted to send in Scyther to get some experience, but... Um, I don't want him to use a full restore or something. Uh, okay. Well, good thing we got Awakenings, because I figured we'd need one. Oh! Oh my god, you, you didn't notice what I just did. You probably did. <laughs> I tried to awaken. I don't know. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. You can't use Dream Eater if I'm awake. There we go. I was so sure he was going to potion. That's great. And we have his final Haunter, which I may as well just keep Golbat in, because he's got no damage. Same level, so a couple of bites should take him down, if we can just get an easy- Oh! Okay, I think we have this one. Because he just did the curse, but it's the end of the battle. Boom. Alright guys, we got our fourth gym badge. We took Morty- down and Golbat is at level 24. How is this possible? Because we're great. <laughs> Don't think our potentials are so different, but you seem to have something more than that. So be it, the badge is yours. And we get the fog badge. By having the Fog Badge, Pokemon up to level 50, including traded Pokemon, will obey you. Pokemon will be able to use Surf. Okay, we finally got Surf, which that actually means that we can go get our Lapras. Uh, here's another thing. I want you to have this too. It's Shadow Ball. It causes damage and may reduce special defense. Use it if it appeals to you. Okay, cool. I get it. The person the Kimono Girls was talking about must be you. Never mind. You should be strong enough to go across the sea. When you go west and then south, you'll reach Olivine City. Why don't you head for it? Yeah, that will be our next town that we head to, which is Olivine City. Uh, I messed it up. <laughs> Doesn't matter now.
you did great. I was cowering in the corner out of pure terror. Well, we did great. Well done to the team. <laughs> Alan! What's up, Alan? Aaron, howdy. It's Alan. How are you? My tangle is getting stronger, exactly as I calculated by the way we knocked out a wild need around the other day. Setting up an advanced work. See you later. Okay. I thought he might give us an item or something. Okay. Let's go heal. Alright, so we're all healed. Um, I want to talk to all these people here, just to, you know, again, make sure we get everything. Lake of Rage. The appearance of Red Gardos. I smell a conspiracy. I know it. Kimono girls are so pretty. The way the kimono girls dance and the way they use their Pokemon are both marvels. More to the gym leader is so cool. His Pokemon are really tough too. Okay, so now we have our gym battle out of the way. So I want to spend the rest of this episode pretty much just going through Ecritique Town, Ecritique City. Ec what? Okay. <laughs> Ecritic City, um, just talking to everyone, making sure we do everything uh, and then pretty much just finish up here so that we don't have anything left to do. There's the dance studio there on the right, but I probably will do that last since that, uh, you know, we've got a couple of things to do in there. We've got some battles and stuff. So, okay, uh, let's, let's just go in this house and let's talk to everyone. Let's get everything out of the way. You're on an adventure with your Pokemon. Well, that what's an adventure without treasure hunting? Am I right or am I right? I suppose yes, you are. You understand the true spirit of adventure. I like that. Take this with you. So we get the dowsing machine. That's that's great. Um, see, this is why I talk to everyone because I would just miss stuff like this. Um, yeah, when it does, you know there's an item near you. Walking as you use it may make uh, blah blah blah. I heard there are items in Ecritique's Burn Tower. Okay, it used to be called the Item Finder. History of Ecritique. Want to read it? Sure. In Ecritique, there were two towers. Each tower was the roost of a powerful flying Pokemon, but one of the towers burned to the ground. The two Pokemon haven't been seen since. Keep reading. Ecritique was home to three Pokemon that raced around the town. They were said to have been born of water, lightning, and fire. But they could not contain their excessive power, so they say the three ran like the wind off into the grassland. Anything to do with the ones that we saw last episode? Yes, is the answer. <laughs> okay, um... Let's talk to this girl here. I'm gonna rehearse at the dance theater. Care to join me? Yes, we will be heading there shortly. Okay, we can't go in there. This way we won't be going just yet. That leads to a new route, but we don't go that way just yet. Okay, so we did the mart. That I'm gonna do last. Let's talk to this guy. I thought I just heard a woman screaming or something. Is that just me? Oh my goodness. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Oh, that's a nice Pokemon you're walking with. They make you feel uplifted, don't they? They give us the hope they give us the hope of the light, so to speak. Speaking of the light, I heard something about the lighthouse in Olivine, the Pokemon that serves as the beacon has fallen ill. Sounds like it's in trouble. This happened when I was young. The sky suddenly turned black. A giant flying tech Pokemon was blocking out the sun. I wonder what that Pokemon was. It was like a bird and a dragon. Is there really a Pokemon that big? If it exists, it must be powerful. If you go west from this city, you'll reach a port called Olivine City. When your Pokemon learn Surf, you can go out to the ocean from Route 40 without a ship. Uh, Cameron, oh yeah, let's take our picture, why not? Let's do it. This is a pretty backdrop, so why not? Oh, and our HM slaves are there too. <laughs> cool, okay. Ecritique used to have two towers, one in the east and one in the west. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. That little waterfall is so adorable. I love it. The whole scenery around here is amazing. Alright, let's talk to this girl. Three big Pokemon run off in different directions. What were they? In the distant past, when this tower burned in a fire, three nameless Pokemon perished in it. Then a rainbow-hued Pokemon descended from the sky and somehow brought them back. The people were afraid of such of such as the rainbow-hued Pokemon. I'm not even saying that right, I have no idea. Uh, they tried to control it by force. The nameless Pokemon made no attempt to fight back. Instead, their great sorrow compelled them to leave. This legend has been passed down by the Ecritique gym leader. Me, I was a trainer way back when. Ho, ho, ho. Guys, it's Santa. Santa. Okay, uh, so let's go into the burn tower because we missed a couple things. Um, so I just want to make sure that we 
do everything. Also, there's wild Pokemon in here too, so... Okay, we can't go that way, so we've got to go around. Okay, you know what? This guy's a fire breather, so I'm going to switch out Scyther because assuming that he has a fire Pokemon, which is obviously not a good idea for Scyther. Don't worry, we fire breathers know the true power of fire better than anyone. Fire breather Ned sent out coughing. Oh, he didn't have fire Pokemon. He's got poison. And another coughing. Okay, so it's coughing two. Ooh, and he's got a Growlithe as well. Okay, and Flaffy is almost at level 24. Critical hit. Very nice. And Flaffy is at level 24. Thanks for such a heated battle. The reason this tower is burned is that it was hit by lightning. The fire I'm breathing is tiny in comparison. Okay, let's grab this. Antidote. This looks very sketchy, doesn't it? Looks like it's gonna fall or something. Practicing my fire breathing in the burn tower. Don't try this at home. Yeah, probably not a good idea, honestly. We're surrounded by wood and timber. Okay, he's got one Pokemon, Fire Breather Richard, and he's got a Charmeleon. Oh my god, I love Charmeleon. And Charmeleon goes down. Oh, Flaffy almost went down too. Uh, but we, we pulled through. Push, push, foom. Please don't misunderstand. I'm not the reason this tower is burned up. <laughs> okay. So we're going around the long way to... We can smash these rocks. Yes. HP up. HP up. Uh, let me smash this rock too. There might be a hidden item behind... No, there isn't. Okay. I should use... Actually, I should use the dazzling machine. Ooh. Oh, there's an item. Okay, like over here. Where is it? Oh, am I, I'm standing on it. Okay. <gasps> ah! What? How did that happen? Coughing. Alright, we may as well catch the coughing since we don't have one. Got him! <laughs> Poisonous gases it contains are a little bit lighter than air, keeping it slightly airborne. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I am standing, now Flaffy is standing, on an item. Ultra Ball! Ooh, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, dowsing machine again. Okay, there's nothing that it seems. Check again up here. Oh, yeah. There's something up across the top, it looks like, although I can't get to it from there, so I've got to go around. Ether. So that's it. Alright, so that's this floor done. The burnt tower is actually not that big. I kind of forgot. I thought there was more in here. Alright, coughing again. I'm just going to run. Alright, let's head downstairs. Okay, so you know what? I'm actually going to put on a repel uh, for now because I don't really feel like fighting wild battles. I just kind of want to get this part done, so. Okay. Alright, let's grab the dazzling machine again. Oh, yeah, there's something up there. Oh, it's right here on this rock. Antidote. Actually, we don't have strength. 
Oh, that's all we can do. Right? We, we're allowed to use strength, but we don't quite have... We don't have the HM yet. I think you get strength from beating Whitney, but no one actually gave us the HM just yet. Okay, so that's the burn tower done for now. That's as far as we can go. So let's go heal Flaffy. Okay, guys, so I've just been looking at how long I'm recording. And you know what? I think I'm going to do the dance studio in the next episode, if you guys are okay with that. Because we actually... It's going to take a little bit in there. So I don't want to make this too long. So what I will do to wrap up this episode is we will go into the tin tower, which is here. And this, honestly... Or the bell tower, I mean. Didn't it used to be called the tin tower? Um, let's see how far we can go. Because in here is one of my favourite things of the game, like 100%. First of all, uh, what does this guy say? The rainbow-hued Pokemon flying gracefully over the tower, the silvery sparkling Pokemon resting gently upon the whirling seabed. All of this is far beyond my imagination. And this guy says, the Johto region has two legends. One is legend about Whirl Islands, the one, the other is the Bell Tower legend. We have been passing down the Bell Tower legend for generations in Ecruteague City. Okay. Yes, through here is one of my favorite parts of the game. I think it is so beautiful. I see, that's the Ecritique Gym Badge. The badge alone will not, not do any good, but I can let you through. Please do go on. Okay, yes, it's through here. It's not really anything we can do at this point. It's just the actual game looks beautiful. And since I know we're still in September, but, you know, things really do feel like... <gasps> I was just about to say, things really do feel like fall. Uh, or autumn and guys look at this look at how gorgeous this is I mean look at how vibrant those colors are oh I love it so much all I'm missing now is literally a pumpkin spice latte <laughs> and I bet I bet you'll want to go get one after watching this video <laughs> So apologies in advance. Um, but yes, I think I'm going to wrap up the episode in here. Also, I want to grab a thumbnail from in here because this is so beautiful. I think this will have to be the thumbnail for sure. All right, guys. So I'm going to wrap up this episode here in this beautiful spot. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We got the Akrutik city gym badge which is very exciting so that means we can move on to the next gym we can train our pokemon even more so in the next episode i'm going to do the dance theater which is the kimono girls and that's going to take a little bit so i'm not going to you know add on another 15 minutes to this episode i'll just save it for next time and also what we're going to do next time is now that we have surf we're going to go back to union cave and go catch our lapras so if you've been watching this series you'll remember that a few episodes ago i want to say like 10 episodes ago um, I was, we were in Union Cave and I said that I'd love to catch a Lapras that we can come back at a later time. So that's probably what I'll do in the next episode is we will go get our Lapras, which is another team member. So we will now have five of our six team members. So I'm very excited. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it. One like equals one autumn leaf. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and leave a comment and tell me how much you are enjoying or not enjoying but I, I hope you are enjoying <laughs> thank you so much again and I will see you in the next one Slunkful, bye bye